Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video in which I create a birthday card. I've got some smooth white cardstock here and I'm going to stencil on it using some Distress Oxides. My stencil has lots of little circles on it, various sizes randomly distributed. I'm not going to blend the whole thing though, I'm going to use washi tape to mask out a strip that's going to be to the right hand side of my square panel. This is washi tape that's been in my stash for a while and I'm not particularly keen on this red so I don't mind using it for this kind of thing. I'm not doing any measuring, just eyeballing it. The Distress Oxides that I'm using are all bluey greens or rather greeny blues I think. The lightest one is Speckled Egg, then there's Broken China and then Uncharted Mariner. And I started with the lightest colour so I can use the same blending brush and not contaminate light colour ink pads with darker colour inks. So once that was all nicely blended, I peeled off my washi tape, removed my stencil, and there you can see my little ombre strip of bluey circles. To add some more circles to this little strip, I took some matte rose gold cardstock and cut some wonky circle shapes using a little cover plate die. All I did was dip them in some tacky glue and arrange them around the blended circles to give more randomness and the metallic cardstock just gives a bit of dimension and a bit of shimmer to this background here. Next I use some stitch circle dies to cut out a large rose gold circle and a smaller white circle then I glued those together slightly offset just for a bit of interest and this is going to provide the landing spot for my focal image which is going to be a butterfly so I die cut my butterfly from smooth cardstock use the ink that was still on the blending tool and just blended that across the butterfly again a sort of ombre going from dark to light top to bottom I then ran that through my Xyron sticker maker to give it a sticky back. This was a bit premature because I then decided to add some copper gilding wax to my butterfly and it got all kind of stuck with the sticky remnants of the Xyron sticker maker so really I should have done the gilding before the sticker making but never mind it looks all right in the end. I stuck the butterfly on some vellum and cut it out using my detail scissors just to give the butterfly a little bit of something in the holes in his wings. And then I wanted to add a bit of colour to my landing spot circles. So I sprayed the stencil that I'd used with a bit of water and pressed that down onto the white circle which absorbed the colour and gave a nice mottled bluey look. I then added craft foam to the back of my circles and stuck them about two thirds of the way up the card panel. To adhere my butterfly, I used some small glue dots behind the centre of the body and stuck that onto the landing spot. I didn't put any under the rest of the wings because I wanted the wings to be able to lift up a bit so the butterfly looked like it was fluttering. I did cut a butterfly body from the rose gold card and that brings that rose gold card to the front. For my sentiment I chose a happy birthday from my little sentiment folder where I keep pre-stamped or pre-printed sentiments. This one was one I created in the Silhouette Studio software and printed and cut from cardstock. As a finishing touch I added some mini enamel dots that were a peachy colour and that worked really well with the rose gold cardstock. And that's it, that's this card done. Short but sweet today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you like the card. Maybe it's given you some ideas of something to do with some of the bits in your stash. 
if it has please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments and i will see you back here very soon thanks for watching bye for now